happy, yeah. Hey, it's Jared from JTW TV, and I'm here with Abby McEnany yeah. and Julia Sweeney and Tim Mason, uh, who have made Work in Progress a series that is an LGBT series. It's fantastic. It's really, really funny. I had the pleasure of uh, checking out the pilot, and um, I want to congratulate you guys on being here at Sundance. Thank you so, thank you so much. For your premiere. Thank, we're, we're just thrilled, so thank you very much. <laughs> So, so your character um, is a 45-year-old lesbian woman who's coming of age, um, starting to date, uh, and uh, what ends up being a, a, a trans man. Mm -hmm. Trans man, yeah. Yep. And maybe you could tell me more about that. Sure. And actually, um, I define myself as a queer dyke, just because uh, <laughs> that's it, so lesbian, queer dyke, whatever. Yeah, um, yeah so the, a lot of it's based on my real, uh, most of it's based on my real life. And um, I did a storytelling show a couple years ago. And one of the stories was how I, I dated a young trans man. Um, and yeah, so uh, we tell that story. And uh, I misgender him at first. And then uh, we wanted to show, because this happened in real life, when I misgendered who turned out to be my boyfriend, mm -hmm. I said, I assume you're a lesbian, and he was like, actually, I'm a trans man. I was like, okay, are you free on Wednesday? You know, like, it was, it was just sort of like, it wasn't like, oh, no, like, what's, you know, it was just like, oh, okay. It was just sort of like, oh, and then moving forward, you know? So we wanted to show that, like, um, it doesn't matter identity is important like it like say who you are if you want to but like I as a person could care less and uh we want to show that um and then just how people need to learn and how you learn is when you meet people who aren't like you and and hopefully show some openness and and, and also show struggles you know like everybody's trying to learn and I don't know so that's where that came from. So that's real. And actually, I'm still very good friends with my ex. His name is Alex. He's getting married. I'm invited. Yay. No big deal. <laughs> I know. You'll Hi, Alex. Be, you'll be there. I mean, I'll be there. Yeah. So fantastic. And Julia, your character comes in and um, it's, it's like, like my face, character face and, face my character. Your, and your character and your character. Um, huge fan of that is Pat. I think my father and I watched that movie over a hundred times. What? Seriously. <laughs> oh my God, you're the only, I think there's 10 people in the world. <laughs> who are well, like you know, honestly, my father, uh, he would, it, you know, he just loved watching that movie over and over again. Really? And oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. I mean, over, over many, many years, huge SNL fan he is, and so am I. Oh. Um, so um, really exciting to see how the story goes around <laughs> that. Um, could you tell me more about it? Um, well, um, as you know, I played Pat on SNL, this androgynous <laughs> character, and uh -huh. it wasn't until later that I realized that it was, like, upsetting to some people to, yeah. you know, who maybe Absolutely. people yeah. thought looked like Pat or was, I, like, I'd identified in popular culture through that character this type of person that then other people could call in a negative way that was upsetting and um and then I felt of course defensive of it because in my mind Pat isn't um androgynous to Pat it's only Pat Pat right. thinks Pat's a man or a woman we just don't know what Pat is <laughs> and it's the jokes are really about the other people figuring it out so it was complicated so then when I saw the little part of the film that they had did had done which is the therapist part which is so brilliantly done and so funny and so dark and so perfect in every way um and then when I read the script that they had I was so eager to do it and so thrilled and happy they asked me to do it I'm so I feel like it's the perfect it's just the dream thing to happen to me because I get to express how I really feel about it and my remorse over it and also the continued ambivalence about it. Like I, I, I do, I'm sometimes defensive and sometimes critical of my own thing and I haven't even landed places, like, which I always think is rich and interesting, you know? So, yeah, exactly. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> oh, good. I think it is brilliant too, for them. I think I just, I'm lucky I get to lurk around the edges and I'm so happy to lurk. <laughs> Fantastic. Should I hand you the mic? I don't know. I don't yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I feel like I have a talking stick. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like I need to give the talking so stick. So maybe a bit more about how this all came together. Sure. Um, for you guys, like, in the very beginning. And um, it, re it really came together because uh, I had just moved from really concentrating on acting to directing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I made a short film that got a lot of attention, and then people were asking me what I was going to make next. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've known Abby for 20 years through my wife. Um, they performed together. And so we got together. We're going to make, we we're like, oh, in Chicago. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, then I saw Abby's one-woman show, and she was telling these stories. 
and uh, I, we had coffee the next week, and I was like, this might sound crazy, but could we just do those things, like your life? And, I mean, Abby was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so it's been, I've been such a fan of Abby. We've known each other forever, and uh, we come from such different backgrounds and <laughs> life experiences, but um, we've, she's, as a collaborator, the way she's taught me how to collaborate has um, really helped. We really work well together. Wow. You guys, that's big. You guys. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. 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 And I was saying earlier, like, we, we are very different as people, but we have a lot of the same comic sensibilities. But, like, we, I think the way that we work together so well is uh, uh, that we can come together and, like, really craft something that that comes in a, in a beautiful place as opposed to me being like, <laughs> and like, you know, conventionals. I think that we, you know, conventional. Yeah, no, that's what you said before. <laughs> I just think that like the way we complement each other by our differences uh, allows us to create this thing that hopefully is going to touch people and, 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 and Wait, you know, resonate. Yeah. I'm taking the talking <laughs> stick. <laughs> no, well, no, because it isn't even just that. Like I've, I feel like I've been in show business so long. No, but like to find people who, make both of them better. I mean, I didn't really know them before each other, but I'm just saying that that doesn't always happen. Just finding a collaborator that, like, whatever the flavors that you mix together becomes this better soup. It's really a rare and beautiful thing, and I think that that's what's happening here. Really do. <laughs> I think that's what's happening. This really? soup is so tasty. <laughs> It's so that, tasty. That is a, it's so tasty. That's the sound bite. <laughs> that's the sound bite right there. So um, how's Sundance been for you guys? Oh, man. It has been overwhelming in such a beautiful way. Mm -hmm. um, I think that, like, really, I've, I've been, like, performing and, like, writing and, and mostly improvising, but storytelling and acting for so long. And, and, and this is kind of the first thing that's had traction, and I'm sort of, like, still, like, What's happening? You know, so it's been very exciting. People have been very kind, and um, yeah, and we just have so much support from our friends, and uh, we have a bunch of people that are flying in from Chicago and LA just to support us, and uh, I, it's just been a really beautiful, beautiful experience. Has you been really busy? It it has, and it's Pretty funny, like yeah, yeah, it has been nonstop, and but I still find some time to to like be alone in in my room, going like this, like to revamp, you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but. It's been, I just got here yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know, I'm just hanging out. Yeah, it's a little cold. The weather out. hasn't been that bad, though. It's, it's been, been good. Yeah, no. really great. And we haven't even premiered yet, you know, so, like, I think Abby's experience is going to change. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, oh, my like, God. Once people recognize her, it's yeah. going to be a different, I mean, the week's going to be a different week. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be so amazing. I know, but How does I that make it. you feel? Well, I just, I mean, I think... Uh, I'm kind of one of those people, like, don't tell me something's going to happen, because if it doesn't happen, that sucks. So I'm just like, well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that will happen. You're so. going to have to get a wig. Oh, okay. Have to <laughs> You're going to have to create uh, no, another I mean, ego or another character to be your life character. Yeah, anyways, so who knows? I mean, whatever. I, I'm just, I, we're just so lucky to be here, and I, I just think... There's just been a lot of generosity, you know, and I, uh, I, I was telling Tiff before, I was like, I think when I walk around here, because I say hi to everybody, and I, uh -huh. I think two things, I think people go, she's from the Midwest, and it's her first time here. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, wow, look at everything, and I think people are like, whatever, I'm like, hey, thanks for, like the crossing guard, I was like, hey, how are you doing today? It's like, fine, yeah, old dyke, why are you talking? <laughs> it's like, all right, have a good day. All right, so um, uh, last question is, um, what would you like for audiences to take away from this? Um, I think it's going to be powerful. I, uh, we can pass that down, yeah. but like I would say, I'll say first and then, yeah. I would say um, I want to, I hope for audiences to be able to see people uh, portrayed on screen that they might, they often don't see. Um, we all, for a lot of reasons, bigotry. Um, <laughs> and, th and that means a lot of things, like queers, uh, older people, fat people, people with mental illness, and, and just show like, you know, the humanity and that like, we're all learning and, um, and we have beautiful actors and, uh, and uh, I don't know, I just the reality and intro, like life is not what you see on, on, uh, on a lot of movies and TV. I would like people to walk away and say, I'd like to see the next episode. <laughs> Can I give them more money That's to make right. the next yeah, episode? Really so, make yeah. More. yeah. <laughs> So we get to work with Julia more. Absolutely. That's, yeah. that's the whole thing. <laughs> Put her in the soup. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you guys so much for taking the time to talk with us at Gaze Around the World Gaze TV. Gaze Around the World. Hi, queers. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank it's been you. fantastic. And once again, congratulations. And we wish you all the best from all the gays around the world, from the LGBTQ plus and the whole community and the many different colors that make us all so special and our differences. It's fantastic. Thank, thank you, you so very much. much. It means Thank the world. You. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> okay.